This week in Turkey, the Kurdistan Communities Union, or KCK, released a statement saying its nearly three-year-long ceasefire with the Turkish government is over. The statement said the Turkish government has failed to comply with articles of the agreement. This will lead to continuous armed conflicts and has been received as an open threat to Turkey. The outlawed Kurdistan Workers' Party, or PKK, had already resumed armed actions prior to the statement. Being under the command of the KCK, the PKK killed one civilian and injured two on Sunday when it fired at gendarmerie forces in Turkey's northeastern province of Ardahan. The group claimed that government construction in eastern Turkey is their main target. This had alerted Turkish security forces nationwide against potential terrorist attacks. The PKK activities in the southeast have reportedly increased in southern Turkey since it released the statement. Meanwhile, co-chairman Selatin Demirtas of the pro-Kurdish People's Democratic Party, or HDP, called on the militant group to lay down arms against Turkey in order to end the armed conflict. Demirtas had previously said the HDP does not have the power to make the PKK reinstate the ceasefire with the government. Under the shadow of the renewed PKK threat, Turkey's long-awaited coalition negotiation process has begun. After President Recep Tayyip Erdogan gave him a mandate to form the government, Prime Minister Ahmet Davutoglu began a first round of meetings with opposition party leaders. Governing Justice and Development Party leader Davutoglu paid his first official visit to secularist party leader Kemal Kılıçdaroğlu. After hearing each other's conditions for a coalition, the atmosphere was positive between Davutola and Kılıçdaroğlu. Davutola made a second official visit to Nationalist Movement Party leader Devlet Bacheli. Speaking after the meeting, Davutola said that Bacheli had expressed his intention to remain outside of any governing coalition. Davutola then finished the first round of talks with a visit to HDP co-chairs Figen Yüksekda and Selatin Demirtas. This was the longest meeting out of the three, and Davutoglu left the party's headquarters, saying that it is ready to discuss all possible outcomes. During the first round of talks, Davutoglu took the pulse of the opposition leaders. Although the AK Party's grassroots favor a coalition with the Nationalist Party, the atmosphere following the meeting suggests an AK Party-CHP coalition is more likely. A second round of coalition talks are expected to take place next week.